Hi, welcome to Systemize Videos. This video will show you how to create, edit, and duplicate roles. Every Systemize user must have a role assigned to them. Assigning roles gives users the ability to do the work they need to do, avoids frustrating mistakes from accidental access, and keeps user views clear from clutter with items they don't use or need. Each user can have only one role assigned to them. Any role can be modified or deleted, and new roles can be added. Take a few minutes to think about what users in your shop need to do. What tasks are similar? How are they different? This can help determine what roles are needed and who they need to be assigned to. Let's begin with the administrator role. It may be tempting to make everyone an admin, but that gives each and every user unlimited permissions in the database. Admin users are able to create and purchase additional users, change passwords, and access the billing portal. Not everyone in your company may need that level of access. Let's take a look at the default roles, then edit, duplicate, and create a new role. On the left, click Settings, Users and Roles, Roles. Here you can quickly see each role, a short description, and which users are assigned to each. These built-in roles are based on the most commonly assigned roles our customers have told us about. Click on any role name to view and edit the permission details. There are a lot of permissions each role can have, so they're broken into groups. There are permissions related to accounts, countergo, processes, in this case, I have a job process and a lead process, calendar, reports, and administration functions. Check or uncheck permissions to allow or prevent that function. For example, I want users with this role to be able to read and update jobs, but not create them. I'll uncheck create. I also want users with this role to have the ability to create views and run reports. I'll scroll to Administration and give full control for shared, saved views and reports. Full control will allow a user to create, read, update, and delete that item. Create allows a user to create that particular feature, like create accounts. Read means the feature will be visible to the user. If you have users who don't need to view reports, Uncheck the Read option. Update allows for users to make changes to a feature, but not necessarily create new ones. An example is the ability to update job forms, but not create new forms. Delete gives users with this role the ability to delete that feature, like accounts, jobs, activities, forms, and so on. You may have noticed that some groups have an Execute option. Execute is shown for tasks that require the user to do something that's outside of the database, like emailing CounterGo quotes and orders and API requests. New roles can be created by clicking on the Create button. Sometimes a new role only requires a few changes, so it may be easier to duplicate an existing role and make edits. Click on the name of the role to copy, then click the Duplicate icon. Notice the name indicates it's a copy of the original. I'll change the name, make a couple of edits, and once I save, I have a new role. Each role also has a change log, allowing you to view what changes have been made to the role and who made them. These roles are available to assign to new or existing users. To change an existing user's role, go to Settings, Users and Roles, then Users. Click on any username and select a role. There are more videos and articles in the Systemize Knowledge Base. If you have questions or would like to chat with one of our friendly Systemize experts, email support at moreaware.com. Thanks for stopping by.